Hi, it's Kaz here and I thought I would actually tell you a bit about where I am because I kind of just left the country quickly and no one really had any idea where I was going. Um, just I was going on this crazy four month trip. So I'm actually in Bali right now and I'm spending a month at a place called iLab which is sort of an entrepreneur's incubator. So some of you will know that I'm sort of on this transition between going from full-time working job to starting my own business, which you may know, which is Culture Unlock. And what I've decided to do is to spend 30 days out um, with no distractions from work to actually spend some time really honing into what I love, working on my philosophies and why I want to do what I want to do in the future. So the place I'm at, I'll just show you because it's really cool. I'm in the Earth Ballet um, in this beautiful resort called... Vision Villas and this is a massage room actually there are like massage tables here and there's a pond and you can just see the vicinity of this beautiful resort that I'm staying at. Um, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon, really beautiful. It's been designed by an entrepreneur called Roger Hamilton and he actually studied architecture so I relate a lot to the way he speaks and how he sketches and his architectural terminology when he's talking about you know, all of his philosophies about having a great business. Anyway, um, it's week two of four. So I've been living in this resort for two weeks. And it's been pretty amazing to just transition from my mindset as a worker to becoming more of an entrepreneurial mindset. And I had a really, it was a tough day today because we had our presentations about what we're going to promote as, our, as a business idea. Um, for each of our businesses. We're six people, by the way, um, from all over the world. So a couple from Australia, an Irish woman from, that lives in Thailand, uh, a guy from the UK, and an Australian woman that currently lives in Bali and has a number of properties around. And I had a really cool breakthrough yesterday, which is actually combining all of my passions that I write about on my website um, and they all relate back to one thing. So I'm really passionate, as you know, about dancing, about languages and about traveling and also about bringing people together and being with people because I love people. And what I realized was that all of those passions relate back to community and cultural understanding and, and, and different communities around the world. So, for example, um, my love for travel and my love for languages are are pretty much straightforward in terms of community but I'll tell you anyway so I love languages because I love the way I can meet many different types of people in the world and understand the ways of thinking from people that live in in different countries having that understanding having that kind of understanding gives me a good perspective about the way the world works and if you understand the way the world works and the way people think you're not going to be judging them and if you're free of judgment, it means you have more of an opportunity to connect with people and to have a great sense of connection. That's where a community starts. And having a great community means that you can help any individual achieve something far beyond a cap their own individual capability. Because you know that when you bring group people together, you start creating some amazing things. And if we start creating amazing things, then we actually are pushing the way forward for humanity and creating a better life for our children and our future. And if we create a better life for our future and our children, then we're actually creating more peace, more joy, more harmony and a better quality of life, which leads to a more loving world. <laughs> the same thing works with traveling. So I love traveling because I love to explore new places. I love to meet new people and to understand how different cultures work. By understanding different cultures it means that I can understand which means I'm free of judging things that I don't understand so I'm not judging and that leads to a sense of connection that sense of connection then leads to a community and then that the same thing happens so you sense of community you uh, are able to support each other in, in letting individuals achieve something far beyond what they're capable of which means a better world happiness and love now the tricky thing for me was actually why I love dance and I was like I love dance but how can I relate this to my cultural understanding of my cultural love and I kind of found it yesterday it was pretty cool um I I love dancing because for me it's about being in the present it's about 
not thinking about the past, not thinking about the future, just being in my moment by myself and being able to generate this feeling of shining and radiance. Anyway, I feel like that's the way that I can get give permission for other people to also feel that way. Which means if you have a group of people in a room that are all feeling vibrant, energetic and positive, imagine that amazing energy and connected feeling that those people can get. It's kind of like when you're at a concert, you know, your favourite, favourite, favourite artist, think of that person and think of you being in a crowd of, I don't know, 100,000 people all having that same joy and inspiration energy. It's this amazing feeling that you get. I get that a lot when I'm at festivals. Um, anyway, so that sense of connectedness brings a sense of community. And then again, if you have a community of people, they can support any individual to achieve something far beyond their own capability, which leads to further advancement in the push for forward in humanity for the future, which leads to a better quality of life and thus you know, a better future for our children, which leads to a more happy and loving life. The other aspect of dance, which was great, was that I realised that there are, there are there's a lot of music that I like to listen to and dance to that have very different beats. World music, so music from Africa sounds very different to music in Indonesia, which sounds very different to music in, uh, in Australia. And yet every, every culture has an expression of, say, joy through their music. So the way I dance to a music representing joy in Indonesia is different to the way I dance to a music expressing joy in, say, Brazil, which means that for me, dancing is actually a tangible or physical interpretation about how I understand a culture. So, so I use dance as that physical tool to understand cultures. And when you understand different cultures from different sides of the world, from world, it means that you are free from judging those cultures, which brings a sense of connection and connectivity, which means we've now got kind of a global community, which I've done through dance. And by having a community, again, you can support any individual around you, which will help any individual to, to achieve what they want to achieve in a collaborative group far beyond their own capability. So see how that pattern is starting to arise I found that really fascinating um, and it took a, took a while I mean I, I actually got my phone out and pressed record just to try and figure out why I love something and so the exercise was what do you do that you love to do blah dance why why do you love dance I love dance because it makes you feel good and why does it make you feel good because I'm in the present moment why so it was just this re, re repeating of the why question um, anyway, so I thought I'd just share that with you today and I'm planning to start making a couple more videos now that I've got some more time in my next three and a half months. So I would love to hear if there's anything that you want me to talk about in my adventures or if you've just got any random questions. But um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed our few minutes together and I will see you soon. Bye.